Hey guys, Lucas from a Full Count Ranger Baseball. We talk a lot about hitting mechanics on these videos, but I wanted to touch on some mental aspects of hitting. I had a high school student ask me recently, he said, hey, how do you get out of a funk? And I wanted to put a video out about that. There's really two components uh, when we're struggling. Number one is self-analysis. We don't go to the doctor and say, I'm sick, and he says, here's medicine. They diagnose what's wrong. We have to have the ability to take our emotions out of the game and analyze why we're not doing so well. Number one, am I swinging at good pitches? If you are, then you move on. If not, you gotta figure out why. Number two is, am I on time with the fastball? Am I hunting the fastball? Most of the time when players struggle, it's because they're not hitting the fastball they're not on time with the fastball and they're swinging at off-speed pitches. What makes a good hitter isn't his ability to hit every pitch. What makes a good hitter great is his ability or her ability to smash fastballs and lay off the soft stuff. Most hitters get out because they're out in front and they roll the ball over. Part of what we need to do is make sure in practice that we are driving the ball to the opposite field, staying through the ball, and not being too quick to roll the ball over. Everybody's different. Some players struggle because they're late, but a lot of players struggle because they're too early. The second component is routine. It's very important to have a routine that you do every day to keep you even keeled. Hitting has ups and downs. Hitting statistically can look like this. Emotionally, we want to stay as close to flat as possible. And a routine is how we stay in that mental state. The routine can go from what you think about at night before you go to sleep, how you visualize what's going to happen the next day if you have a game. It goes to having a routine off the tee that you do before you start your hitting practice or have a hitting session or before your game. Uh, doing the same thing off the tee, and it can be different things for different people. Usually, it has something to do with having the ball deep and hitting balls to the opposite field and staying off the top of the cage. Usually, that's what the routine entails, is doing things to keep your barrel on top of the ball, to keep from dumping and hitting pop-ups and roll over ground balls. The routine doesn't have to be a 45 minute routine, it can be a two minute routine of just a few swings, doing a few different drills off the tee before you start for the day. We could go very in depth, and maybe we will at some point, about uh, the first component, about what you're swinging at, uh, why you're not on time. There are many different things mentally and mechanically that we could go into about that. Um, and same with the routine. Uh, so it's important that you or your players have something they can lean on to be their bedrock, their foundation for what they're going to do at the plate on a daily basis, good or bad. Uh, maybe at some point we'll go into a little more depth about those things, uh, but I just wanted to put that out there because I'm sure that that's on a lot of people's minds.